Hello, my name is TJ Singh and I'm the Sick Product Specialist with e in Southern California. The basic objective of this video is to understand the key difference between photoelectric sensor technologies and how to choose the right one for your application. All right, the first technology is through beam sensors. In this, the sender and emitter are different bodies. This is the sender which is going to emit the light and this will be the receiver which will receive that light. The SIG H18s have a nice strength bar indicator at the back which pops up as soon as the light signal is coming. And in through beam sensors, the light off path is broken by an object which causes the detection to happen. Now, pros for through beam sensors is that you can have the longest detection ranges with these sensors. And there are some cons which can be that you have to mount the sender and receiver separately so it's more mounting efforts and sometimes space could be a limitation and secondly the alignment can get trickier if the range of detection gets longer so that alignment can always cause some issues and you cannot detect transparent materials but through beam sensors are great when you have long detection ranges now the second technology is reflect sensors. They are also called uh, retro reflective sensors. And unlike through beam sensors, they have the sender and receiver in the same body, but you do need a reflector or a reflective tape on the opposite side to complete the light path. And right now you can see the light path is completed by the reflector. And as soon as any object obstructs the path of light, the output is triggered. Now these sensors also have auto calibration technology which allows it to see small parts and the biggest pro of these sensors is that you use them to detect transparent materials and they very effectively detect them and you will find the majority of packaging industries and manufacturing units that deal with glasses or plastics use these retro reflective sensors. The biggest con with these sensors is that you cannot detect highly reflective or shiny materials because they end up false triggering the sensor, making it think that it is actually the reflector itself. But SICK also makes polarized reflective sensors, which actually are able to ignore that and detect very reliably. And another con is that you do require a reflector at the opposite side. And lastly, we have diffused photoelectric sensors. And unlike retro reflective and through beam, these have the sender and receiver in itself and they do not require any secondary component for detection. And you can actually set their detection ranges in different ways. In my H18 SIG sensor, I have a potentiometer, which I can basically use to set the detection range according to my preference. And as soon as any object breaks that path, the output is triggered. And these sensors are great when you have to detect uh, objects in a small proximity. Also diffuse sensors have different technologies like energetic background and foreground suppression technologies in itself. And I have a separate video which completely explains those. Please click on the link in the screen right now and thank you for watching this video.